Yo, what's up, people? It's your boy P, also known as Captain P67. We're about to watch the new Armored Core game, Fires of Rubicon. We're going to watch the gameplay footage and uh, we'll just do a live reaction to it. I've heard many great things about this game and uh, potentially one of my viewers, Barad, shout out to Barad, we were just discussing it and maybe it's a game I could stream and play. So if anybody's kind of hype about it, wants to share their two cents in the video and uh, give some feedback, or if you want to join the streams, you're welcome to. Links will be in the description below. But without further ado, get your popcorn ready, get your chicken ready, let's hit it. Alright folks, let's go. Armored Core 6 Fires of Rubicon gameplay footage. Pow! There we go. From software. Okay. The scale only looks epic and I've seen a lot of footage and some gameplay um, tidbits here and there. It looks dope already to be fair, like the, the mechs. Alright, so a bit of exploring um, so far. Quite a big size map to travel. Here we go with the rockets. Yo. Yo, the game that looks kind of fire still. Sheesh. Let's go. And the slide. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, graphics are on point, man. <laughs> A tunk right there. Off the map. I'll take that. What if we... Will they see like, show like a boss maybe? Or is it just mechs versus mechs? Like similar scale. The graphics definitely look really good. Really really good. Uh, there are definitely buses. Oh, okay, good looking out, my guy. Yeah, I'm not sure how the concept works. Like, if it's like, you know, smaller, like, mini, like, bots first, then you get to the end of the map, or you fight elites at a bigger bus, or, you know, just not really too aware of how it all works. But, uh, dope skin, man. I look forward to a bus in the trailer then, as well, if they show one. This wasn't the trail I was thinking of, but it's still dope. Oh, okay. I just went off the official trailer four minutes, the one that you said pointed out. And I think this is where it comes into its own. I think, was it the customization supposed to be like dope, like crazy, uh, crazy amount of stuff you could do? So everyone's gonna have like different builds and different tech. I'm liking the mechs, man. The, the, designs are, the, the designs are dope, man. Already. I like that rocket. The rocket one was pretty cool for me. And hopefully I got like a sniper um, shot. This looks like more of an agile one. Yeah, yeah look at that. I like the melee attacks as well. And the effects. If, if the effects are done right. So far, I've seen some electrics, some like uh, photon rays, and different things. Man. Oh, here we go, here we go, Barad. Boss battle. Yeah, man, this looks hella cool, man. This looks dope. I believe it was on the Sega Saturn or something, one of those consoles. Uh, there's a game called Virtual, I don't know what I was talking about before. It, it's one of the first early 3D like model games, like bots. That was like one-on-one -on -one in the arena. That was really cool. This reminds me similar to that style. But obviously this is an update version, obviously. Shit, man. That's all right, still. And August 25th. Uh, the original Armored Core was on the PS1. Oh, okay. 
Oh, okay, and there's all the extra additions and that. Yeah, man, my, my guy, that looks kind of fire, man. That looks kind of fire as well. And then Starfield comes up. <laughs> so, yeah, there you go, folks. There's a reaction chair to Armored Core. So, maybe another good game we'll be looking out for on the stream. Awesome, man. Uh, yeah, man. Uh, looks dope to me, my guy. Looks dope to me.